Today, I wanted to share with you guys NFL coaches that I think must be fired. And of course, I'm going to give you my reasonings, but I just, I had to get this off. First up, we got Mike McCarthy. As somebody who is from Texas, um, I don't acknowledge the Cowboys because they've been an embarrassment, you know, haven't won Super Bowl since before I was born. And I don't care how many 12-1 seasons Mike McCarthy gives, every time he gets to the playoffs, the team chokes. So I'm going to blame him. Dak Prescott, I don't know why they're giving him $60 million a year when he chokes in the playoffs every single year. How do you let Green Bay score on you that bad? At one point, it was what, 48 to 16? And then he did some stuff in garbage time, so it was 48 to 32 to make it look like you didn't get beat as badly as you did. Defense looked horrible out there. So yeah, I think that he needs to go. I think that Dak needs to go. I'm tired of it. I'm tired for it. You know, I would like to root for this team as someone from Texas, but embarrassment after embarrassment after embarrassment. It's not going to get better until both of them go and until Jerry Jones, you know, goes. So I'm going to have to wait 15, 20 years for the Dallas Cowboys to be a good team. But I'm tired of Mike McCarthy. I'm tired of what he does every year. And this year, the Cowboys don't look that great. They usually, you know, wait to choke until the postseason. But this year, they decided to start really doing in the regular season. Because you're telling me you let the Saints blow you out? Are you kidding me? You let the Saints blow you out in 2020. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. And, you know, they're up a little bit, but you beat the Giants and the Giants are trash. You have, they have Daniel Jones. That doesn't mean anything to me. And then recently they just beat the Steelers and the Steelers, everybody knows it's the same deal with the Steelers. The offense is kind of mid and the defense picks everything up. And Dak Prescott threw two interceptions and was able to find a way to win. That doesn't move me. When it matters most, they're not going to be good teams and they're just really not that great. So, you know, Mike McCarthy, it starts with you. You, you know, he needs to be fired. I'm so tired of seeing this every single year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Next up, I got Nick Sirianni, coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, I became a Philadelphia Eagles fan this past year. Last season, heartbreaking. Started off so strong. What was it? 10 and 1 or something like that. Then a collapse after that. I fell to my knees. I fell to my knees. Why you got Matt Patricia calling plays? Really? That's what that was our option. That was our option. You had him calm plays, offensive coordinator. What's his name? Brian Jobs or wherever his name was. He was awful. Okay, that collapsed last year. Just it made me sad to see. It made me sad to see. And then this year, you know, there's just some moments where it looks rough. You know, the Buccaneers, it looks rough, and there's just moments where it looks rough. And so I'm blaming Nick Sirianni. He is, you know, the common denominator here. I just don't like his spirit. I mean, what does Nick Sirianni do? Everybody says that. He apparently doesn't call the plays, you know, for the offense or the defense. So he's not doing that. And he's deciding not to take, you know, critical field goals. Jake Elliott is a good kicker. I don't know why you don't use him enough. I just don't like his attitude. I'm not liking what he does for the team because he basically does nothing. He's not motivating them. He's not calling plays. He just sits there, bitches all day long. I don't need that. I don't need that. So, you know, I wish he could be be fired tomorrow and if he's not at the end of the season I certainly think that he needs to go I'm tired of him Super Bowl was a few years ago you know it's time to look on the greener pastures because I'm just tired of everything that's going on so Nick Sirianni needs to be fired Zach Taylor must go you know I'm wearing this Bengals beanie that I got recently I wanted to wear it for something but Zach Taylor I I'm just over it. I'm just over it how every season y'all start and y'all are horrible y'all lost to the Patriots week one to the Patriots is crazy week one okay and they didn't win until they just went against the Carolina Panthers. And everybody knows the Carolina Panthers isn't a good team. So that's how you get your first win. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, in that game versus Ravens, which is a really fun game to watch, by the way, you do three running plays and you got nowhere with that. And then you want to say, oh, Joe called one of the plays. Okay, if Joe called one of the plays, there was two other running plays that you called. Why not have him pass the ball when he threw for almost 400 yards and five touchdowns in regulation? I don't get it. I don't get it. Zach Taylor. I'm just over it. I'm just over it. You know, multiple games y'all should have won, but you know, it starts with the play calling, you know, I'm going to blame him. He has a part in it at the end of the day. The defense just looks awful this year outside of like three people and I'm over it. So Zach Taylor absolutely needs to be fired. I just, I'm, I'm so tired of seeing this every single week. The defense is going to sell out. That's guaranteed. Zach Taylor is going to cause some terrible plays is guaranteed. I know Joe Burrow is hated. You threw five touchdowns and y'all still didn't win because the defense sold out. Zach Taylor has to go. Zach Taylor has to go. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Doug Peterson can go too. I'm not a Jacksonville Jaguars fan because they're trash, but every game I see, 
they look awful. So I think that he definitely needs to go. You know, these are coaches that I think should be fired watching week after week after week. And let me know who you think needs to be fired, you know, and we can continue that conversation down in the comments. Offensive coordinators you think need to go. Defensive coordinators that you think need to go as well. Because nine times out of ten, when I'm saying the head coach needs to be fired, offensive or defensive coordinator or both need to go. But this was just on my heart. I just had to say it.